कि दैट वेर एवर होमोरेक्टस वेंट दे इवॉल्व टू सेपियंस ओके सो ओनली वन माइग्रेशन हैपन फ्रॉम आफ्रीका दैट इज इरेक्टस एंड देर वॉज रीजनल कंटिन्यूटी कंप्लीट रिप्लेसमेंट सिंपली से इज दैट दैट होमो सेपियंस वेंट टू एशिया यूरोप एंड देर दे एक्चुअली रिप्लेस द ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टिंग स्पीशीज ओके so neanderthals were eliminated by homo sapiens or were there other transitional forms were eliminated by homo sapiens only so today we'll see homo sapiens okay uh matlab apne bare mein nahi but the fossil homo sapiens so purane wale yes uh so three fossils they are mentioned in our syllabus Cro-Magnon, Grimaldi, and Chancellor. Okay, so these three fossils have to be seen in detail, or somewhat basic idea has to be available. But before we begin with Homo sapiens, because uh, UPSC is not asking about these fossils. Okay, well, अब हम उनको पूछे क्या ही फायदा होगा? तो इधर UPSC is concerned more about the theory of origin of Homo sapiens. or upsc is concerned more about the culture of homo sapiens that is the upper paleolithic culture so major questions are with respect to these two aspect rather than talking about the fossil as such okay so first let's see the theories of origin of homo sapiens and that that gives a clear cut answer or that actually makes the debate very much clear i have already discussed this regional continuity model out of africa theory now we'll see this in more detail so there are there were two major theories or the for first theory that was prevalent with respect to the origin of homo sapiens was regional continuity model or what is called as multi regional hypothesis now this was given by milford wolpoff okay and the earlier existing theory that is regional continuity just said that ki that wherever uh, homo erectus went they evolved to sapiens okay so only one migration happened from africa that is erectus and there was regional uh, continuity that is those fossils actually evolved into or those ancestors evolved to sapiens that is regional continuity okay second one is out of africa theory now out of africa theory suggested that ki sapiens originated originally in africa okay so first migration of uh, our ancestors happened during time of erectus who went outside africa gone to europe and uh, different parts of the world that is asia but the african erectus evolved to sapiens and then again sapiens went to different parts of the world now the question was that what happened to those who went earlier to europe and asia okay erectus who went to europe and asia and they existed in the form of neanderthals and different other form of transitional forms how what happened to them so that led to two subdivision in this theory one is called as complete replacement complete replacement simply says that uh, that homo sapiens went to uh, asia europe and there they actually replaced the already existing species okay so neanderthals were eliminated by homo sapiens or were there other transitional forms were eliminated by homo sapiens only complete replacement and the second one is partial replacement or interbreeding theory that is homo sapiens went to europe asia they interbred with already existing 
एंसेस्टर्स से नियंडरथल्स में यूरोप के साथ यूरोप में नियंडरथल्स के साथ मीटिंग हुई एंड देन इन एशिया दे ऑल्सो मीटेड विथ नियंडरथल्स और सम अदर ट्रांजिशनल फॉर्म हुस एवर वाज प्रेजेंट दे इंटरप्रेट विद देम ओके नाउ दिस कंप्लीट रिप्लेसमेंट इज गिवन बाय क्रिस्टोफ स्ट्रिंगर and partial replacement is given by fred smith and uh if you remember uh, there was a nobel prize given to pablo swanto that is so that is related to neanderthal genomic sequencing now he supports this partial replacement theory okay this scholar so i have shared two articles today on the group agar aap logo ne kabhi dekha ho group ko so usme uh, i have discussed about what that nobel prize winner actually has given or what kind of idea that he has developed with respect to uh, neanderthal genome so we'll discuss this so let's talk about the first one regional continuity so regional continuity can uh, can be represented graphically by this so it simply says that the directors migrated to different parts from africa and in all different parts of the world it evolved to sapiens now the question comes that if it has regional continuity how come the how come the people living in different parts of the world they have similar anatomy agar regionally evolve hue hain to there should be some kind of variations and how come they are only uh, how come they are a part of a single species they can interbreed आप समझ रहे हो कि इफ देर वॉज अ रीजनल आइसोलेशन और रीजनल एवोल्यूशन हैज हैपन दे शुड हैव डेवलप्ड इनटू थ्री डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ स्पीशीज दे शुड नॉट हैव द कैपेसिटी टू इंटरब्रीड विथ ईच अदर नाउ दे सी दैट दे वेर एबल टू मेंटेन दिस एबिलिटी और दे वेर स्टिल अंडर द सेम स्पीशीज बिकॉज ऑफ द रेगुलर जीन फ्लो दैट हैपन बिटवीन दम सो द माइग्रेशन वॉज नॉट ओनली वंस इट वॉज इन वेव्स एंड दैट्स वाई देर वॉज अ रेगुलर इंटरक्शन बिटवीन दीज species or say this represents the gene flow and that's why despite evolving regionally and due to continuous gene flow interaction between them they developed similar kind of anatomy they did not developed into three different kinds of species that is what regional continuity model suggested so as i told you that it was given by milford wolpoff now what evidence does it presents to justify its theory so it presents regional continuity model has evidence like continuity of features so for example chinese they present an idea that several transitional form found in china say erectus and other transitional forms found in china they had flat face with horizontal cheek bones which and also the orbits which actually suggested epicanthic fold now these are the features which is still found in china that suggests that they have evolved from those ancestors only continuity of the features of erectus and other transitional form agar aisa nahi hota so then it means that uh, sapiens have come from africa so then uh, why is there a continuity between the ancestral fossils found in china and the present living human population in china that means there is some kind of relation so that continuity is seen as that uh, they were the ancestors of the modern population of china okay so
okay another one is <clears throat> the continuity that was seen in europe in case of europe they they have seen several fossils which uh, several fossils had certain features which is also found in the modern population of europe so one uh, very common feature is the presence of a bone that is called as a telltale bone okay telltale bone is a bone here uh, at the mandible region that is the lower jaw region uh, where the nerves enter into the jaw so this part of uh the jaw there is a bone called as telltale bone and that is present in the modern european population and this telltale bone has been seen in neanderthals as well okay so that means a continuity of this kind of bone in the european population shows that they have derived from neanderthals only another one is gap between third molar and the jaw and the lower jaw so there is a gap a peculiar feature that was present in neanderthals that is the gap between third molar and the jaw and that peculiar feature is still shared by more than 50% of european population that says that they have some kind of ancestral relationship with neanderthals or they have evolved from neanderthals that that's why they carry forward these kind of features okay so that shows that the local population or that is neanderthals or the other transitional form evolved to sapiens regional continuity model clear hai 